Hey guys, what's up? Today we're talking about The Magicians, a story that's often considered a Harry Potter meets Game of Thrones, or as I like to call it, Chronicles of Narnia meets Game of Thrones. It's a contemporary fantasy that takes place in our world, but it's also a portal fantasy that goes beyond our world into something similar to Narnia. If you haven't read it yet, there will be spoilers because I'm just talking about the five things I love about this entire series. Number five. One of the themes throughout the entire Magician series is this idea of what comes next. There's always something better around the corner. This manifested so perfectly in the reveal of Quentin, our main character's discipline. In the first book, we see the all the other characters narrowing down their studies and picking basically a major or a discipline as they call it. And Quentin doesn't have one. By the third book, he decides he wants to become a professor. They let him on, but he has to find out his discipline. He's excited. He's finally going to find out his calling and it's fixing things. Super basic and pretty lame and he's okay with it, but it's also not this grand like, I'm gonna now be able to save the world with my gifts kind of discipline. In that moment, we complete who Quentin really is. This guy who has these big dreams and these big fantasies and who kind of in the end doesn't have much to say for himself. I don't know if I necessarily agree with it, but that's definitely how he views himself. Number four, one of the big questions that I've always had about Harry Potter is, why are there so few people attending this school? There's like five kids Harry's age in, in Gryffindor. It blows my mind how small that is. There's no way in this world full of magic that there's that few students. The Magicians, however, takes a look at that and says, you know what, there is a finite amount of students that a school can take. What happens to those students who take the test and now have a taste of magic and what are they gonna do? I loved that we got an exploration of that. Number three, The Magicians is a relatively bleak story. I'm not a doctor, I'm not gonna actually diagnose Quentin, but I'm pretty sure that he had some major depression issues. All of the characters are dealing with some pretty dark feelings. However, there are tons of moments when we take a step out of that darkness and we take a step into the wonder of magic. There are tons of fantasy books out there that take a more studied, more science type approach to magic and I really appreciated the just sheer wonder of moments like where the sun literally melts into the land and sets the land on fire. Um, that is a kind of sunset that I want to see probably in a movie or a TV show and not legitimately. Number two, Quentin had a huge problem with finding meaning for his life. It felt like every page, but honestly it was probably every like five or six chapters. Quentin's asking, maybe this, maybe this is what I was born to. Maybe this is my destiny. And over and over and over again, it gets taken away from him or it's not enough and he continues to seek that next thrill, that next purpose. While all the other characters seem to kind of just find themselves, Quentin really struggles. Despite that feeling sounding depressing and honestly in the moment when you're reading it, it is kind of depressing. It just feels so real and it's part of just our human existence that we're always looking and always searching and always working on that next thing and how we can become better, how we can find more meaning out of our lives. And it just had all the feels for me. Number one, The Magicians has a ton of similarities to Narnia. Instead of discovering Narnia for the first time, essentially the Narnia books are already published and 
Quentin is just finding out that they're real. The interesting thing about this is that within any one of the three novels within the Magician series, we get a story within a story. Not only do we learn about the original novels, we also learn the intricate complexities that revolved around the original family and it just made the story so much more interesting. It felt so full and so real. All in all, The Magicians was an amazing book for me to read. Not only did I love reading it, it also served as kind of a study for my own novel, The Fourth Wall. I've been working really hard to balance the story within a story within a story aspect of The Fourth Wall and reading The Magicians gave me a lot of tools to work with.